started on the triangle GUI activity, um, specifically in terms of the mouse listener. Um, so the, the code that's provided uh, in your GitHub repository lets you get started um, in terms of displaying the window, um, but I wanted to provide a little bit more details on how you um, can deal with the mouse listener part. So I'm gonna open up the triangle component here. And the first thing we need to worry about is we have to um, implement the mouse listener. Um, so I think I referred to section uh, 10 in chapter 10 in the text that, that walks through the mouse listener stuff. I've also pulled up here the Java doc for the mouse listener. Um, we can see the mouse listener interface. And when we implement an interface, we are promising and therefore are required to implement every method defined by that interface. So we need to implement all five of these methods, um, even though we don't really care about them all. Um, we really only cared about the mouse clicked one, but we still have to implement all five and the ones that we don't care about, we can just leave with empty method bodies. Uh, so let's do that together first. Like we saw the other day, we're gonna implement the mouse listener um, with an inner class. So I'm gonna create a class actually inside of the triangle component class. Um, I usually do it at the bottom of the class, so I'm going to do it here. So I'll say public class mouse click listener. And I'm going to say it implements the mouse listener listener interface. Um, we've already imported mouse listener and mouse event up here um, in anticipation of, of needing to do this. Um, so it's not happy with me right now because I haven't um, implemented all of the methods. Uh, so we'll do that now. So we'll say public void. The first one was mouse clicked. Each of these takes a reference to a mouse event object as a parameter. And all I'm going to do in here is I'm just going to say system.out.println. Um, oh, here, let me show you how the mouse event thing works. So. Uh, Mouse clicked takes uh, a single parameter, which is a type mouse event. If I click on mouse event, here's the Java doc for mouse event. It's got all sorts of stuff here. Um, but what I care about most are methods like this, get X and get Y, uh, which returns the X and Y position correspondingly um, relative to the source component. And, um, and in our case, that's gonna be the um, triangle component itself. Um, so I'm going to call the get x and get y methods there. So system.out.println event.getx will print the x, and then event.gety will print the y, and then we can at least see where the mouse click is. All right, it's still not happy because I haven't implemented the other four methods yet. We have mouse entered, which takes a single parameter of mouse event, and I don't care about it, so I'm just going to leave it empty like this. Um, and I'm going to copy this several more times. So in addition to mouse entered, we have mouse exited. And we have mouse pressed. We have mouse released. Oops. I don't know what I was thinking here. I got to like actually format this a little bit better. There we go, I'll compile. All right, um, so this is great. We have a mouse click listener class implemented, um, but as when we first were talking about listeners um, a couple days ago, um, just having a listener class doesn't do any good. It's like having a phone and not giving anyone your phone number. Um, so we need to actually um, register this listener with this component and saying, hey, component, I want to listen to your mouse events. And so that is most appropriately done inside of the constructor. So I'm gonna add a line up here inside of the constructor and I'm gonna say this dot add mouse listener. So the add mouse listener method is defined by the J component class um, from which triangle component um, 
extends and therefore inherits this method. And it takes a single parameter, which is a reference to a mouse list, to some object, which implements the mouse listener interface. So in our case, we called the class mouse click listener. So I'm going to make a new one of those and pass that as my parameter. Cool. And now if I run triangle frame, there's the window popping up, which is good. And then I can also display the terminal. And we can see that where I click, I see those things printed to the screen. So my listener is, is working and operational. So I hope this gives you a little bit of a jump start on the lab. This can be one of the hardest parts um, just in terms of working with an unfamiliar interface because um, all we had done together was the, uh, the button click stuff.